Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gwen and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep conditioning routine for high porosity hair. So I have a couple of routine videos on my channel where I do deep condition my hair, but I'll admit I kind of, you know, gloss over the process and don't really tell you guys why I'm doing certain things and how they will be helpful for you. And I also don't really highlight all the time the steps that I do that are, you know, tailored towards high porosity hair. Before we get started, I have a couple of announcements. It's been a while since I've actually filmed. I've been back filming like crazy, so I'm finally like caught up with everything. But firstly, I just wanted to thank you all for 2,500 subscribers. I'm really excited. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm happy to have all of you here. Thank you for just supporting the content and, you know, inspiring me to keep going. So I have that announcement. And secondly, I have two things that I'm launching. So the first is my natural hair coaching program. So I really like to help you on this journey and help you to customize your natural hair regimen. So if that's something that interests you, please click the link in the description box to sign up. It will have a link that says upgrade or like level up your natural hair routine. And then the other thing that I'm launching is my natural hair store. So I have launched So Naturally Shop, which will be my natural hair product store. I don't know if I'm only going to be doing natural hair products, but the first thing that I'm launching is my scalp oil, the So Naturally Scalp Oil. So if you watch a lot of my videos, you will see me using an oil on my scalp and in my hair as I'm doing my hair. So I will be selling that oil. I will be selling it in this size bottle right here. So you'll be getting four ounces of my oil and you can click the link in my description box for my So Naturally shop, or you can type in sonaturallygwen.com slash p slash shop. But the link will be in the description box in case you're interested. I'm so excited for you guys to try it. So if you're interested, feel free to click the link in your description box. And yes, thank you so much for supporting my brand. Okay, let's get into this video. If you enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at So Naturally Gwen. All right, let's get started. First, let's review what high porosity hair is. So high porosity hair is hair whose cuticle is naturally in an open position. So what that means is the pores of your hair are really large and so moisture can enter really easily but also leave just as easily. So common problems for high porosity hair is your hair accepts moisture really well but doesn't hold on to it very well and also your hair can get overloaded with moisture really easily. So yes with my high porosity hair I constantly have to worry about you know locking in moisture because my hair dries out really quickly. So those are some of the things that I have realized about my hair as I've discovered that my hair is high porosity and as I have created my deep conditioning routine to tailor to the issues that my high porosity hair has. So I think the main thing that you should take from this video is to not skip deep conditioning, especially if you have high porosity hair. So like I mentioned, high porosity hair has a difficulty holding on to moisture. So our hair dries out very quickly. Deep conditioning is a really easy way to inject moisture back into your hair and to really help it soak back in and you know, just get it ready for the rest of the week as your hair is going through your day-to-day -day process. So deep conditioning really helps to reset my hair and make sure that I get the moisture back into it. Okay, let's talk about some deep conditioners that I recommend that you have and why. I recommend three different types of deep conditioners. So first one that I recommend is a moisturizing deep conditioner. So this is a deep conditioner that does not have any protein in it and will just be really moisturizing for your hair. So the one that I currently have is the Garnier Fructis Curl Restoring Cocoa Butter Hair Treat. It is a three-in-one hair mask. It can be used as a pre-poo, a deep conditioner, or a mask, which I think are the same thing personally. But this is the one that I have. It is from Garnier, like I mentioned. I have a lot of different deep conditioners that I'm using constantly, but this is the one that I have in my bathroom right now. Another one that I will shout out just because it's right here that I really like is the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Quenching Deep Moisture Mask. I've talked about this one on my channel a couple times as well. This would be another example of a moisturizing deep conditioner. 
it does not have any protein in it. So that is the first type of deep conditioner that I recommend you have in your collection. Next one is a really strengthening deep conditioner. So this would be a deep conditioner that has either large proteins in it or a lot of protein in the product. If you're interested in learning more about proteins, like their structure, like size wise, and how they relate to the protein content in natural hair, feel free to click the link on your screen. It's my protein moisture balance video. I talked about different proteins and how they react to your hair or in theory, how they should react to your hair based on the strength of the protein. But anyways, yes, so I recommend having a strengthening deep conditioner. So the one that I'm currently loving is the Melanin Hair Care Plumping Deep Conditioner with Hyaluronic Acid, Biotin, Fenugreek, Pumpkin, and Bamboo. Yes, so I love this deep conditioner. I actually filmed a first impressions on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I highly recommend you go check it out. I like that video. And um, yes, it was a good way to see the mask and just see it in real time if it worked on my hair, which it did. I love this mask. It's really strengthening, but it has moisture in it too. So it's a really good like, you know, way to add protein to your hair, but it doesn't like, you know, make it too dry or overloaded with protein. So this one, I really liked how my hair reacted to it. And so that is the second type of deep conditioner that I recommend you have in your collection. And then the third type is something that is slightly moisturizing. The example that I have is the Miel Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. So I've used this a couple times. Like, I think this is, this is a brand new one. I think this is like the second or third container of this. But yes, I like this one. So this one has amino acids in it. So if you think of protein, protein is like, think of a brick wall. And then amino acids are the individual bricks that make the wall. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So it's going to be slightly strengthening, but not too much. I didn't even tell you like the ingredients. So for melanin mask, this has vegetable protein and pea protein. So two different proteins. And then in this one, this one just has like a bunch of different amino acids. So we're going back to chemistry, you guys. Um, so this one has arginine, aspartic acid, glycine, alanine, serine, valine, proline, threonine, isoleucine, histidine, and phenylalanine. That might be all of them. I don't know. But yeah, that was a lot of different um, amino acids. So that is another mask that I recommend you have. Some other ones, this one I have, it's the Uncle Funky's Daughter Heal and Renew Intensive Hair Mask with silk protein, avocado, and baobab oil. So that is another slightly strengthening deep conditioner. So this one has silk protein and silk protein is a smaller, like medium sized protein. I highly recommend you check out my protein moisture balance video if you still have more questions about that. Um, so yes, so three different types of deep conditioners based on the amount of proteins are in it and how strengthening it's going to be for your hair. So in the past, I used to like to only use moisturizing deep conditioners and then once a month use a strengthening deep conditioner, such as the Miel one. But what I've been doing is alternating them. So just in general, this is what I do. So I would use something strengthening. I wash my hair once a week, by the way. So the first week I'll use something really strengthening like the Miel mask, like the melanin mask. Then I, the next week I would go in with something moisturizing. So like the Garnier one. Then that next week I would go in with something slightly strengthening like the Miel one. And then I kind of flip it. So once I use this one, I then go back and use something moisturizing and then I would use something strengthening again. So kind of like a four step system or five step, st five step system. Basically I space out when I use protein and I alternate them but I don't always use my strengthening protein right away. This is a method that I've seen a couple of YouTubers use that I like, um, such as Glam Twins and Paging Dr. Dre here on YouTube. I'm so happy she started making videos. I'm so happy, I love her hair. But anyways, yes, those are two YouTubers that come to my mind that, uh, that swear by this method. And I really have been liking how my hair reacts to it. I've noticed that I've gotten less shed hair in the shower and I find that my hair just pops a lot more. 
I feel like instead of taking my hair from one extreme to the other, I feel it kind of keeps my hair in balance. So yes, that is really important for high porosity hair as well because it has a tendency to become moisture overloaded. So it's important to make sure that the protein is there so that you aren't you know, moisture overloading your hair and you keep it strong. So yes, that is what I like to use. So those are the products that I like to use for my deep conditioning routine. Okay, so let's get into the actual steps of my deep conditioning routine. I forgot to mention. So the mask that I'm going to be using for the portion of the demo is this one. I probably should have showed you this one. This is the Miel Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner. So this is what I used in the demo. This is moisturizing. It's only moisture, just so you know. This would be the same category as the Garnier one. So just hope you can follow that. In the portion of the video where I have shown you the demo, I have co-washed my hair in sections. And then next I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes and start applying the deep conditioner. So I tend to follow the directions that's on the container, but I found that my hair likes 10 to 20 minutes. So if I have a deep conditioner that says only leave it on for five minutes, I'll probably stretch it to 10 minutes. And then if the deep conditioner says to leave it on for 30 minutes, I'll only leave it in for 20 minutes. So because this one's supposed to be an overnight conditioner, which I don't recommend that, it'll overload your hair with moisture likely, um, I left this on for 20 minutes. So after that, I am very generous and I apply this to my deep conditioner. This one is very thick, so that is why I'm going ham in the demo. And also, I think just because I don't have the running water, maybe I feel like my hair needs more moisture than it actually does. I'm not sure, but just know that I'm being very generous with my deep conditioner. So I recommend you apply your deep conditioner from roots to ends. It's important because you don't want your roots to be too dry and then, you know, break off. And you also don't want your hair at the roots to miss the protein. So whatever mask you're using on your hair, you want the benefits to be from the roots to the ends of your hair. As my hair has gotten longer, I have been less afraid to go into the roots because I need to make sure that all portions of my hair are taken care of. So I do go back in and grab more product. You don't wanna like take the product and try to smooth it down. Like I just go ham and I just add more. I find that my hair has loved that. And yes, you do use a lot more product, but as my hair has gotten longer, I've just kind of, you know, faced the facts. And also you can find products that aren't as expensive. So a lot of products that I do use, they are pretty fairly priced, I would say. Um, I've been able to find some that aren't super expensive. I know that deep conditioners can get very expensive. So I think it's good to just find ones that work for you and that way you won't feel you know, like you're wasting too much product, but I will say that when you deep condition your hair, you do need quite a bit of product. So I rake the product through and make sure that I am getting as much of my hair as possible. So I make sure I distribute it really evenly. And I like to separate the, the large sections just so I'm not missing anything. Don't assume that the product is going to just, you know, squeeze through and you'll be able to get all of the hair. You're going to want to take the hair and separate it and make sure that you're adding more product on top. And then in the video, I have only a little bit left in the container. So I just went ahead and applied more. So I just went along like the edges and in my parts and my edges just to make sure that all of the hair gets fully coated. And then after my hair is fully coated with the deep conditioner, I cover my hair with a shower cap. And I know in the past I've said not to cover your hair. I apologize. I don't know what I was saying in that video. Please take everything I say with a grain of salt just because... <laughs> Over time, I might make a video and be like, oh, actually that didn't work. It sets your hair even more up for success if you do cover your hair with a plastic bag or something to trap in the moisture. So I do recommend covering your hair. Okay, so after my treatment is done sitting for the 20 minutes, I turn my shower into lukewarm water. I used to use cold water, but no one wants to use a cold shower like I don't know, especially in the winter time, you don't want to have a cold shower. So I use like warm water, not too hot. 
And the important part of the deep conditioning process, especially for high porosity hair, is to make sure that you're sealing the hair cuticle and you aren't letting moisture run away after you just let it sit in your hair. So the first step of that is to make sure that you don't use too hot of water when you are rinsing your hair. So when I'm rinsing out my deep conditioner, like I said, I'm using lukewarm water and I'm making sure I'm really thorough and I like to, yeah, just feel how smooth my hair looks. And this is a good opportunity to make sure that your ends feel nice too and you don't need to trim anything. So this is a good time to make sure that your hair just feels nice and silky smooth. Once I rinse out my deep conditioner, I squeeze out the excess water and then I seal my hair cuticle. So the best way to seal your hair cuticle is to balance the pH of your hair. So the natural pH of hair is 4.5 to 5.5 and wash day products help to raise the pH of your hair. So the benefit of raising the pH of your hair is your hair cuticle is more likely to be open, which is good because it helps the shampoo to get into your hair. It helps, you know, the treatments to get into your hair. So it's ideal to make sure that whatever your hair needs from wash day, it's going into the hair. But once you're done with the wash day process, you need for your hair to go back to balance so that your hair cuticle will close and you will lock in the moisture so much better. And the natural way to do that, like I said, is to balance the pH of your hair and bring it back to normal. So if you have your hair pH going up, you need to bring your hair pH down. So you want something that's more acidic. Acidic things have a lower pH, just so you know. So going back to science a little bit. So what I like to use is apple cider vinegar. So I use a mixture of apple cider vinegar and water. I would recommend diluting it just so it isn't too harsh on your hair. So I use a like one quarter apple cider vinegar, three quarters water mixture. So what I do is I go section by section, I squeeze it through. And then after I do my apple cider vinegar, I rinse it one more time. So yes, rinse your hair again with the lukewarm water and then you are done with wash day. So once all of my sections are sealed, I just put my hair into a t-shirt. And then after I put the t-shirt on, I put a towel on top of it. So a t-shirt is a great option to dry your hair because you don't have to worry about the cotton fibers pulling at your hair. All right, you guys, that is it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at So Naturally Gwen. Also be sure to check out the links that I mentioned in the beginning of this video, my natural hair coaching program, as well as the So Naturally shop. I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Thank you.